In this video, we're going to look at how the players can communicate with each other. In the last video, we looked at how to create a room and how to join a room, which is very important for this next step. So if you haven't seen that video, please go back and go through that video and continue here. The first thing we have to understand is the relationship between the master and the client. Whenever you create a room, you will be the master of that room. Whenever you join a room, you're going to be client, and there could be several clients to one room. Based on the last video, we have Connection Manager. And what we're going to do is create a new FSM and show you how you can distinguish between, in one FSM, the master and the client. Because we're going to be using one FSM for both master and client. So let's do get master. This is pun get is master client. And this action lets us determine if the player that is playing this game is the master or the client. So I have my is master client, which is the bull, the event, the not master client event, and then on value changed. So what I want to do first is that if I run the game now, it will always go to not a master because we haven't set up a room yet. We only want this state to begin when you join a room. So you can determine if you are the master or if you're the client. So I'm going to go to here, event, and I'm going to add that one from the last video on joined room, which is a global event that comes with Photon. And I'm going to add this. And I'm going to change this to set a start state so that it only goes here when you join the room. And I'm going to set a new event, master and client. And I'm going to add these events to this state. And I'm holding on to control, clicking and dragging to create a new state. And so here I'm going to set this to master. I'm going to set this to client. And so if I join a room or create a room, it should set me to master or a client, depending on if I created or joined the room. So there we go. I have, uh, it was sent to master. And if I join a room, it should send it to client. Now the communication part. So one of the ways to communicate between players in Photon is through what we call the RPC. So in client, on state four, I'm going to add this FSM event to player. So just to understand a little bit better, we're going to be sending an event from the client, the person that joined the room, to the master. So I'm going to set here master client. You're going to see nickname, actor name, actor number, user ID, etc. So I'm setting master client, and we're going to go through the other ones in a bit. And we're going to send a global event. This event would be client join. And just to explain, the event target has broadcast all. It's because if I change it to anything else, it will not work. The broadcast has to be sent to broadcast all, which means that the remote event has to be set to global event. So. On this state, state three, I'm going to add a global transition or transition uh, client join, and I'm going to send this to a new state. And so basically what we're doing here is that if the player that opens up this game and joined a room is now a client, it's going to go to this state. And as soon as it goes to this state, it's going to send an event to the master that started the room saying client join to this state. So to, to determine this, let's get a UGY set text. And I'm going to set the text, this text. Client is connected. And let's test this out. So I'm going to create a room and I'm now waiting for the client, which is right here, to join in. And 
if I switch back, it shows that the client has joined, it has sent the broadcast event here and client is connected, which works perfectly. Now the next step, I want to get the name of that client. So what we do here is that we set client right here, set nickname, pun set nickname. And I'm going to grab the input from my text mesh pro. And I'm going to set this to nickname. And so here, pun set nickname. The nickname is the name that we're setting to the player. So therefore, when I get this client joined from the client, I can get that nickname. And the way to do that is to get last message player property. So what this action does, get last message player properties, as you see here, depending on the last player that told me to go to client join, the last player that did that, I'm getting the properties from that player because the last player sent this event. They said, go to client join. The master here got that event. And so the last player, I'm gonna get their nickname and I'm gonna store it here. So client is connected and I wanna get that nickname. So when I create a room, I have 3494 and you'll see that it should be set to it's waiting for the client to join. So opening up a new game, I'm gonna set my name to test. And here, 3494, join a room. Now here you'll see that I did not join because I was put into the Europe server, European server. So let's try that again, 3494, test. Join a room. All right. And so if we flip back, it did do client join and we did get the nickname test. Perfect. So what we can do with that is that we can send a message back using the photon view broadcast FSM from the master. We can send it from the master to that client and we can do it by nickname. And we can do an endless loop where they're both communicating back and forth. But let's set a new broadcast event just so that we can see a new global event called master connection. And I'm going to add this here. And so what we're saying here is that as soon as the client joins the match, joins the game, joins the room, it's gonna set that nickname that we entered here, and we're gonna set that, uh, we're gonna send an event to client join. And as you remember, it sends a client join, and it gets the last message player properties, which is the nickname. And now, from the master, send our own event to that nickname, saying master connection, which should move to state six. So let's test that out. So from my second game, from my built game, I'm gonna create a room, 5991. And here I have my connection manager. So I can see that I have not joined the room, but I'm gonna set test 5991, join a room, and it worked. So if we were able to open the Playmaker FSM from here, from the other from the other game, we'd be able to see that it went to this state five and it sent the event to test, which was a master connection. And now we saw that right here, not connected, they're both communicating with each other. So if I flip back to the other one, you'll see client is connected. So they are talking to each other. So that was one way that we can show communication between the master 
and the client, and a way that we can get the nickname from that player. That's it for now, and if you have any questions, let me know. In the meantime, I look forward to playing your game.